All right, and we are back with another mod install for the charger. Um, I got quite a bit of things I want to do today, so uh, that will be an attempt to get them all done. But I ordered a bunch of stuff, they all came in, so um, like here's one uh, interior lighting, you know, little LEDs and change those all out. Uh, something I did not need, but I just wanted for the little door scoops or whatever. I um, also ordered some new projector fog lights since mine have not been working for a while in the Dodge dealership in my town could not fulfill their duties and get them replaced under warranty I just went ahead and let them stay off and inoperative for a while and I'm just going to replace them myself attempt to replace them myself in that I also have these demon eyes that I've been holding from lighting trends for like two years now. Um, and since I'm gonna take the bumper off today, we're gonna see if I can install the demon eyes. Don't know if that'll be successful or not, but yeah, so that's what I got lined up. And uh, let's get into it. Excuse the noise. We got uh, some shredding going on out here, but uh, Hopefully that won't be too, too noisy and you guys can still hear me. If not, I'll just need to close the doors. I'm gonna start off with removing the bumper. I'll do the interior lighting last. Uh, so here we go. Ah, before I do any of this, I need to disconnect the battery terminals so there's no power running. I gotta move all this shit out. But yeah, I almost forgot. Um, I had these badges on my car, LED badges. Um, I took them off because I wanted to trade the car in. I'm gonna put them back on today and uh, put them in a different location. So, I need to be uh, modifying the harness once again and hopefully I can get all this done today. But if not, we got a part two for tomorrow. It is Friday, currently 9.15 in the morning. So we'll see how long this can take to get done. Hello, little one. Got some visitors here today. But uh, yeah, let's see how long this will take to get done. You wanna say hi to the YouTube channel? Okay. So I've only taken my hood off once. Um, and that was to install this top grill here. I don't remember if I need to take these out, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm pretty sure you do. But yeah, I'm starting off with uh, these clips after disconnecting the battery terminals. So I don't think the demon eye install is going to work today. Um, looks like you're gonna have to disassemble the whole headlight. I don't wanna do that. So uh, I tried to figure out a way to get in here without taking the whole front plastic cover off. I unscrewed some like T15 bolts that were like in these little holes. This moves, but it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, can't come out, can't rotate. Um, let's see, I saw this little opening over here. I slid the light in there, but I don't think it's actually shining through the glass. So yeah, there's absolutely no way that I can install these without opening up the housing. Um, so I left the headlight alone and came to the fog lights and wanted to see if, you know, I could install them in the fog lights. But with the new ones uh, that I got, it's pretty much the same thing. Like the housing is enclosed. So the only way to put the light in there correctly is to open up the whole thing. And since these are sealed and all that stuff, I don't want to do that. So, uh, no demon eyes today or anytime soon, actually. Like I might just 
get rid of them or keep them and not use them because I am not opening up the uh, light covers. Since I got new fog lights, they come with their own harness. Um, I will not be using the old harness anymore, but I'm gonna leave it here. I'm not gonna cut anything. Um, so what I did was I capped off the end with some heat shrink that connected to the old fog light. So uh, I will plug this back into where it goes, reinstall it in those holes there. It is currently 106 degrees outside. It is hot. So uh, right now I have extended the harness to the hood vent lighting. Kind of tucked them in a little better so the wires won't be shown through the vents. Uh, and I'm currently running the harness for the uh, bumper badge uh, right now. So, yeah. And then I will put this new fog light in and run the harness for that. So I had to pick up my last package. Shout out to the Quiet Racing Club. I got some plates, you know, JDM style, quiet. Uh, I figured this one would match the colors. Not quite, but it'll do. I got a regular traffic custom plate. Fafo, quiet, 1320. And then I got a quiet 1320 t-shirt. So uh, the last time I took my car to be serviced, oil change, all that stuff, um, the tech tried to refill my windshield, washer, reservoir, and everything just poured out. So he told me that uh, he thinks my reservoir is cracked, um, which I was not, you know, I didn't want that to happen. So anyway, while the bumper was off, I got a chance to look at the washer reservoir and uh, it actually was not cracked. There was a hose that uh, slipped out his grommet, which allowed all the water to pour out. Um, and since I've had this car for like the past two years, the windshield washer system is the only thing that has been giving me consistent problems. Um, the hoses that connect to the nozzles or the sprayers under the hood, those have disconnected multiple times and then this happened. Um, so I'm not sure what what's going on, but um, I've zip tied the connecting points for the nozzles and for the, uh, the tube that connected to the actual reservoir itself to keep that from happening again because it, it's frustrating running around with a dirty ass windshield and you can't clean it because you ain't got no damn water. But yeah, so far that's the only issue I've had with this car. It's quite annoying. I'm just, I'm just okay. I'm just cruising, cruising through the night. You know what it's like. And I just, I just caught a vibe. I feel it. Turn me up. Turn me, turn me, turn me, turn me, turn me up. All right, so it is Sunday, just about 9.30. Um, I should have had everything done Friday, but you know, working by myself in the heat, things got a little slow slower than uh i wanted and saturday had some things to take care of so uh today well right now i'm headed to the gym um get a little workout in when i come back the plan is to <laughs> install the interior leds uh rewire my dash led badge and then after that 
give her a nice wash. So, let's get it going. So, we're back from the gym and we're going to attempt to install the interior LEDs. And I say attempt because I've never done this before out of all the years of driving, owning cars, I've never changed out the interior lighting. So, this will be a first for me. I don't think it would be too bad, but you never know. So, I didn't think this was necessary, but uh, as you can see, the LEDs are much brighter than these stock bulbs. And uh, it's gonna make a huge difference when all of the lights are on in the car and everything. So, yeah. So far, I think these are the easiest ones to install. Uh, I removed the whole little thing up there because I want to open up the case and see if I can change those other bulbs out. But these are less difficult. You know, you just stick a little pry tool in the corner where the button is. I guess it's easier if you hold the handle down, but uh, get in there, kind of pry it out a little bit and then the housing will fall right off. Um, I've got this little pry tool here to just push the bulb on out and change it. You don't need to remove the whole thing unless, you know, you just want to take the covers off of these. There's some screws in there. But yeah, we're not doing that. So I just hooked up the dash badge and replaced this uh, glove box light. I just wanted to test and see that it was working. These are going to be a problem at night. Extremely bright, right in your face. So, uh, I'm actually done. I'm not going to wash the car. It is too hot. I've got the LEDs here put in. I don't have any to change these out, but maybe later I'll do that. Vanity mirrors, bright as hell. Uh, I got the ones underneath the door. I got my LED badge wired up, ready to go. And I even got the LEDs in the trunk.